Hi, I'm Jack Murray, and welcome to my madness. In this uh, in this episode, we're going to be talking about uh, radio communication for the race car. So uh, you know, I've got a uh, an endurance race car, and uh, we want to be able to have the driver talk to the crew chief in the pits, and uh, it would be nice uh, to have that happen. Uh, a lot of people don't even bother with uh, radio communications you can buy without it. And uh, I, would, I would just say forget it, it uh, if it's going to cost a lot of money. And if you look at the um, cost for, for some commercial systems to do uh, radio communications for racing, uh, it can be very expensive. And uh, I'm not going to spend hundreds of dollars or even more for that kind of uh, a setup. So. Um, so I was just going to not bother with it, but, you know, being the way I am, I uh, had to go see if I can figure out how to do it cheap. And uh, it turns out that uh, I can do it pretty cheap. So I wanted to talk about that and uh, share with you how I'm going to gonna set up the radio system for our, our race car. So the, the first thing is, uh, you know, I do endurance racing and uh, we, have a, we have a team of drivers. And there's so uh, there's you know three uh, or four uh, drivers that drive the car to race, and um, I didn't want to have to force all of them, all of our drivers to have a to set up their helmet uh, with a uh, with a radio system in it, and uh, and a lot of times you have uh, what are called arrive and drive people that uh, that that just show up and are not really part of your team per se, but they show up and drive your car. And uh, so those people uh, may or may not have a helmet with the radio system that's compatible with ours. So uh, I wanted to try and avoid that. And I want to avoid the expense of, of uh, having everybody's helmet set up for a radio system and then uh, avoid having uh, an arrive and drive driver have to you know get his stuff integrated into our system so the uh, the the way I, I solved that problem uh, there's there's really two two things one is that the uh, the radio system is going to uh, to to use a an external speaker for the radio so instead of having headphones it's just going to have a, an amplified speaker for the radio output so when the crew chief talks to the driver the sound is just going to come out these speakers and uh, they can just hear it with, with their helmet on. Uh, so it's got to be pretty loud. Um, I got these speakers, these, uh, these computer speakers, they're on a Christmas sale for two bucks. I mean, it, that is really, really cheap. Uh, but uh, they sound like crap. They, they, they're terrible for music. They're computer speakers, uh, but um, they're powered by USB. Uh, port, but um, they uh, they sound terrible for for music, but for voice they work just fine, and they're and they're they're really quite loud. Uh, they don't even have volume control, but uh, the radio itself has volume a volume control, so we don't really need that. So for two bucks, you know, you can't beat it. Uh, I even bought a couple of them just in case one of them didn't work, or you know, I ended up tearing it apart and using parts out or what whatnot. So. Um, so that's that uh, solves that problem. Got the speaker output, uh, which you know, so the driver doesn't have to have anything for that. And so the second problem is uh, dealing with the microphone input. And uh, like I said, uh, you you know you can buy you can buy you can, you can get you can get helmet kits for your for your helmet that have basically a headphone setup in the in the helmet, and they put a microphone in 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 the helmet. Um, those those kits, uh, uh, you know, cost about. Well, some of them are expensive, but you can buy for, for twenty bucks. You can buy them. Uh, but we, I don't want to want to have to do that. So what I came up with was is using a uh, a throat mic. Uh, a throat mic picks up the sound from your vocal cords. It doesn't use um, the 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 sound in the air. So you just you, you just put this thing on around your neck. Put up the the sensors up right on your throat, and it picks up the uh, your vocal cord vibrations directly. So it doesn't pick up any sound from from uh, 
any ambient noise that's in the air it doesn't pick it up and you know a race car is a really loud environment we don't have windows we're not allowed to have side windows in the car and you know of course the tires make noise the engine makes noise you know uh, it's just really a loud environment so so this this mic will work great for that but more importantly is that it all the drivers can share this one mic right so it doesn't need to be in the helmet and uh, you know there's, there's there's it just you just put it around your neck set it right on there and uh, everyone can share it. it it doesn't have any holes in it, it doesn't get dirty it's uh, it's uh, really easy for everyone to share the same one so no one has to buy separate stuff that makes it a lot cheaper uh, so that solves that problem. Then the, uh, the third problem is having a push to talk button. So you know normally when you have when you, you have the radio, you, you press the button and you and you uh, then you know when you press the button, it takes your your microphone input and sends it to the other radio, right? It's walkie talkie. So um, for a race car, you can't be uh, pressing you know you well you can't have the regular handheld. That just doesn't work. Although I think I've seen people do it, uh, but I don't think it's going to work too well. So what they have instead is a is that uh, you have a push to talk button, and you know the push to talk button needs to be pretty much on the steering wheel. Uh, some people put them on the shifter, uh, which isn't too bad, but uh, I think best probably on the steering wheel. You keep your hand on the steering wheel all the time, so if you need to uh, transmit on the radio, you just press the button right on the steering wheel. So that uh, that's that needs to be uh, uh, rigged up. Uh, the uh, All the standard stuff does not really uh, allow you to have some remote push to talk button. So the, the uh, yeah, so those are three things. The speaker output, the throat mic, uh, that solves the helmet problem, and then we need the push to talk button. So um, let me uh, let, so let me uh, move on to the the actual radio itself. Um, a lot of people use uh, these Chinese Bafang uh, walkie-talkies. I think they're I think the model number is UV5R, and they cost about thirty bucks each, and uh, they seem to work pretty well. Um, really cheap, you know, compared to Motorola or something like that, which can be a lot of money. Uh, but uh, I bought these. Uh, this these these are Arc Shell brand, and uh, they were only 25 bucks for two of them. So that is really really cheap. Uh, they're very similar to um, to the family radio walkie talkies. Uh, if you're familiar with those, they they these operate at the same frequency that the family radio operate at which is 430 megahertz um, but uh, they're a little they're a little different uh, well maybe a lot different than the family radio radios uh, one is that these have three watts of output power I think the, the Bafang radios have five watts so they, they they do have more power but uh, these have three watts I think the family radios are like one watt or a half watt or something they're pretty low power um, so yeah, so um, and another reason these are cheaper is that they only operate at the one frequency, the 430 range of uh, 430 megahertz range frequency. The the same as the family radios, the the Bafang radios, the UVR 5Rs are dual band. They operate at 145 megahertz and 430 megahertz, so they give you more options uh, in, in a noisy radio environment, which. Which you can be, you know, in a in a lemons race, you can have 150 drivers on on the track at one time, which is which is a lot. And if everyone's trying to use, you know, one of 22 channels, uh, obviously that's they're, they're gonna have to share channels. You know, family radio I think is 22 channels, and this radio only has 16 channels. Uh, but it, uh, I'll tie as I'll talk later. Uh, unlike the family radios, these uh, you can you can program the frequency into these radios, so you can pick whatever channels you want to be one of the 16. You can select 
all of the six, you can basically specify all of the 16 channels. Uh, you can program them into the radio, same as the Bafang radios. So I think they're pretty much the same as the Bafang. They probably just you know disabled some features and sold them cheaper. You know how China does that kind of thing with one manufacturer makes everything, and that one reason it makes them so cheap. So. Um, so yeah, so that's the radio that uh, that I plan on using. I got a couple of them. I actually bought another pair of them, uh, even cheaper. They were fifteen bucks brand new. It, uh, so I got them off eBay. And uh, so yeah, so the 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 standard radio comes uh, with the with a little you know so-called rubber ducky antenna, and uh, I ended up buying some high gain antennas. Uh, these are these are supposed to be three dBi. They were they were 450 bucks, so I actually bought two of them. And they're supposed to be three dBi. And if you know anything about the dB scale, uh, three dBi should double the effective power. So a three watt radio is effectively like a six watt radio at that point. So you know the crew chief uh, in the pit's gonna have uh, have a, this the bigger antenna. And then I also bought. A 3 dBi gain antenna for the car. This, this, so this antenna here will mount on the roof of the car, so we won't have the antenna sort of in, inside all the metal of the car. It'll be sitting on the roof, and then there's a cable that goes down to the radio. I think this antenna was 10 bucks, maybe it was 12 bucks. I can't remember exactly, but it it was pretty cheap. Uh, the cable's a little long, I think, if you know about radio systems. The longer the cable, the signal degrades. So it may have 3 dBi, but with a six-foot cable, it I think it degrades the signal by 2 dBi. <laughs> so so the gain of the external uh, is well, you get the gain of the external, which I don't know what it would be, but it's got to be worth quite a bit, I think. And the, but the antenna cable is killing a lot of the gain. So I'm going to shorten this cable up. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know. Some people use thick cables. I mean, these are really small cables, so they have a lot of loss. Uh, but but uh, this, I think this will help quite a bit. So, you know, got it like 10 bucks or so on that. So, yeah, uh, the, the big thing is, uh, is to get the push-to-talk uh, button set up for the, for, the, uh, for the steering wheel. So my plan here is that uh, these, these radios uh, come with... They come with a uh, with an earphone setup, so you know you you plug in the earphones and then you've got you've got you've got a an ear an earpiece to put in for the for this output and then it's also got a push to talk button uh, with this with the microphone input right here. So they they come with this, but it's this itself is not going to work for the race car, right? So I'm going to modify this. I'm going to build a custom uh, wires wiring setup so this plug will plug in the radio and then it's going to have three standard 3.5 millimeter jacks um, that you know one jack will be for the speaker output another jack will be for the microphone input so it'll be just the same as as you know a, a, a computer headphone setup that has the two 3.5 millimeter plugs so that'll and then if someone has a helmet kit, you know, with as long as they can produce these two plugs from their helmet kit, then uh, they can plug into the system too. So, and then the third plug will be the push to talk button. So it'll be a, you know, a separate standalone button uh, for push to talk. So uh, I think that covers 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 it all. Um, so let's get into. I'm going to show you uh, the show you the wiring harness as it comes from the radio system that you buy, and I'm going to dismantle it and then uh, wire up these uh, this this three jack box. And uh, right, so I'm going to show you the wiring diagram, and then we'll we'll uh, wire up the system.